Game one is the Eagles at the Saints, with a total of 54 and a half, and the Saints favored by eight. Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz goes into the Superdome to face a Saints D that leads the league against the run, but is average against the pass. Wentz has thrown multiple touchdown passes in his last six games, and has been a top five fantasy quarterback since week four. I'm not thrilled with the Eagles' middling team total of 23, but the game script should keep Wentz throwing, and I like him this Sunday. Leading receiver Alshon Jeffrey has been quiet over the last two weeks and draws Marshawn Lattimore in coverage, so despite this game attracting tons of ownership, I don't think Alshon will. Newly acquired Golden Tate only ran 15 routes in his first game as an Eagle, and while we can expect that to rise this week, it's hard to say how much. The true number one option in this offense is tight end Zach Ertz, who is breaking records for catches and targets at his position. He'll probably be the highest owned tight end, but that's the only downside to playing Ertz. You don't have to give the Eagles backfield a second's thought, because you're not going to play any of these guys. Last week, three Eagles running backs evenly split the touches with Josh Adams, who having the most at seven. No thanks. Saints quarterback Drew Brees is averaging nearly 350 passing yards in his home games and doesn't let something like a total blowout stop him from posting a huge box score. It's easy to recommend playing Brees in every home game, and he should be the highest owned quarterback this Sunday. Number one receiver Michael Thomas leads all players in fantasy scoring at home this season. His most targeted games have come in close contests, but even in last week's beatdown, he posted eight catches and two touchdowns, so it's hard to say that game script limits his ceiling. With the unfortunate injury to Des Bryant, rookie Traquan Smith will continue to be the number two receiver, but he only has seven targets in his last three. And tight end Ben Watson can have useful games, but isn't a huge part of this offense. He's a better play on DraftKings, where his salary is easier to pay off. Both Saints running backs went off last week, but Kamara is the preferred option in close games, and has outtouched Mark Ingram in the red zone by 21-5 over the last month. Kamara will be popular on both sites, while Ingram is shockingly cheap on DraftKings, but borderline unplayable on FanDuel.